first part of the challenge today. And a warm welcome to one and all. And if it's your first time here, you're a big fella. That is the scruffy trade. And what I'm doing this week and up till Christmas is a funded challenge for the five percenters prop firm. Now, if you haven't seen the five percenters, uh, there is a link in the description below. And basically what they are, they are a company that will put the money up for you to go to market. You trade it and there's a profit split. Simple stuff. Now, the program that I've got into is what's called a 40k challenge. And what that means is I have a smaller valuation where they will give me £10,000 or $10,000 rather of funds that I can trade. Now, I have to grow that fund by 600. And if I do that, they'll quadruple the 10,000 into 40,000 and then so forth and so forth. If you go through the videos, you'll see the breakdown. Now, what I'm doing today is I'm just sort of testing. So making certain all my charts are correct. I've got my parameters in place. So my position size is a tiny, the micro. Uh, I'm actually at about 10p a position. And I've already done the first one and I'm about to do the second, or I should say the second one is actually in play. Now these, unlike other um, sort of prop, these are real hedge accounts that you start with. Okay, now I've already been into it and I've got 422 out on a position size of 0 0.01. Okay, now I can go up to a pound so that would be zero um zero point one but i like to break trades up and that's what we kind of looking at here on this hourly chart you can see that i've got a position here waiting for this to see if it'll come back and trigger and up i've mapped the chart that's what the blue lines are for entry exits and then i have my solid support and resistance lines as no now, the idea of this trade is very simple. There's been a heavy sell-off there. I am looking for the retracement. Now, I've already taken the first part of it, which was this. I was expecting it to come back, which it is coming in now, which will pick that order up, and then I'll have two orders running up with two different profit targets. Why do I do that? It helps negate the risk reduces exposure but it helps me manage the trade as well now there are another type of account which is called a netting account and what that would do is every time you open position it combines them together now that is a different mindset um, and because i do both sometimes i've got to be a bit careful because the screens are identical and i've got to make certain i'm on the right screen otherwise i could also put it in the wrong position size um, anyway, story for another day. So what are we doing here? Well, this is the DAX. I love the DAX. The DAX is a great instrument to trade. Now, this kind of illustrates it a little bit cleaner than the hourly. There is the five-minute drive. Came up, stalled on the levels that I put in, and then has retraced back. Now, it's retracing back roughly to where the other level is, which is catching the tops of these, as you can see. Now I've already got an order in. That was placed there because of this cluster point and the start of a drive and the break of this candle here. Now it has come back over on itself. I'm not really bothered. And what I'll be doing is I'll be staging here and here as well, if I need to, with an overall target up onto these red lines up here now this one i could even just push up to there i've got plenty of time to pass this challenge you know i've got till march but i'm going to try and do it by christmas but all of this week i'll be on very small position sizes while i as i was saying work out what's going on okay because i want to see how the moves are 
on the exchange. In other words, the DAX is quite brutal. I want to see how it works on this platform. Because one of the rules with the 5%ers are you're not really allowed to carry these ones over the weekend and they recommend you don't carry them overnight because the swaps are quite expensive. Okay, And if you're not sure what a swap and swap commission charges are, it's just the overnight cost, the, the, the interest for holding a trade open. Okay, And across a weekend that can mount up and effectively wipe out your profit because it's expensive. So what I need to do is figure out the happy medium, shall we say. So let me run the trade and then I'll come back to you at the end. It looks like that's about to trigger in, um, which will be good because what effectively happens as well when these trigger, if I chicken out on this one, this bottom one can pair that one off. And there we are, we're in. And what it will do is, it, it again, it, it helps me manage the trades out. Okay, something I go through with the Scruffy Squad all the time because I believe in return on investment and management trades. Um, I don't go for percentage of account, I don't go for risk reward. And a lot of people will start screaming and bawling, but think about it this way there are the three 90s in the market 90% of traders lose 90% of their money in 90 days. All right, that's a well known fact. I think there's a fourth 90. 90% of what you know is absolute crap. Why? Because it's there to sell you a dream. I'm not in this for a dream. This is my job. So I do it properly. Simple as that. Anyway, if you like it, do hit the subscribe button. Genuinely helps. Find value in any of my videos. Do hit the like and the super thanks. Genuinely keeps the lights on. And we will continue this journey together. Let me do the trade and I'll come back to you at the end. Okay guys, um, job's done. Uh, I had to pop out for a meeting this afternoon and watch this on the phone. I had an exit signal, close the orders off. Now bearing in mind I need probably about five quid a day in order to pass this challenge. Let's see where we've done. Well, just dealing with pennies. um 1099 11 so i'm quite happy with that so what i'll do is i will fill this in uh it was all at just 10p so i'll just put 10.99 on there that's it first day over and we have well obviously a 100 percent strike rate <laughs> Um, but we've increased the balance by 1.8, which is 
probably put me a day ahead of where I need to be, which is excellent because every time I get a day ahead, what that'll do is it knocks a day off the end, which means gets me closer to Christmas. That's the general gist. Anyway, so let me click this over. I'll tidy up my journal a little bit later. If you want to pass these challenges, slow and steady is the way, you know, little steps every day. And if I do a couple of percentage points over what I need, it doesn't half rack up. And that's what trading is in general. It's small, steady steps. And all these steps build up to a big journey. And that's how you get paid, guys. So that's the first day of the challenge. I will do updates every week, two weeks sort of thing. Uh, I'll drop in some trades like I'm doing now so you can see the journey. And if you're stuck, I'm very easy found. You'll find all sorts of contact details in the description. So as always, guys, trade well, keep your risk managed. But above all, do what you love and the money will follow. See you all in the next one. Yeah.